everyone, and Merry Christmas. Tis moi, you know who I am. Anyway, today, even though it is a very hectic day, I'm sure everybody's all stressed because they're having company and people over and cleaning and wrapping gifts, or I'm sorry, unwrapping gifts, I happen to find some time to make this wonderful, wonderful dessert. It is called a chocolate lava cake. Yep, and guess what? I'm making it in my favorite new cooking appliance, my crock pot. Yes, the chocolate lava cake, or in restaurants, it's called a chocolate molten, or a chocolate bomb, or a chocolate explosion. What it is, is a cake that when you cut into it, chocolate just oozes out onto your plate. It's divine. I want to show you how you can make something that delicious in your crock pot. It's so easy. And one thing I found, Crock pots or slow cookers have liners. These little trojans that go around it. And you know what that's for? Protection. No, no, not that kind that you're thinking. Protection so that my cake won't burn along the sides. So, I'm going to go get everything ready and I'll be right back. So as you see, I have everything ready. And I hope you Notice my new staging apparatus. I have instant chocolate pudding with two cups of cold milk. And then I have Mr. Duncan Hines Devil's Food Cake. That is going to require three eggs, one and two thirds cups of water, and some oil. And I'm going to mix that. And then I have one 12 ounce package of semi-sweet chocolate. So what's going to happen is I'm going to make the cake batter just like I was making a cake in this little bowl here using my electric mixer. And then I will pour that into the crock pot followed by my instant chocolate pudding, which is that and two cups of cold milk, and pour that into the crock pot, and then I'll top it with the semi-sweet chocolate. So here we go. So here you see I put the cake mix, the water, the oil, and three eggs. Isn't that cute? Looks like he's got a little smile there. In a bowl, and now I am going to mix it just like I would a cake, and then I'm going to put it in the crock pot. Okay, so I mixed my chocolate cake and I'm pouring it in here. Mmm, beauty of being the chef, you get to do that. You get to lick things, so to speak. Now I'm going to do the instant pudding. Next comes the instant pudding. Pack it in there. One cup. Don't you like my little cups? Two cups. And now I'm going to mix. Now it. I mix the instant pudding. I'm going to put that on top. Three layers. I'm going 
to go get the camera and show it to you. And then I'm just going to put the lid on it, turn the temperature on to high for two hours. So here you have the three layers, the cake layer, the pudding layer, and the semi-sweet chips layer. And you can see I have it in the crock pot with my little Trojan. I'm going to put the lid on it, put it on high, and I am not going to touch that lid for at least two hours. Do not open a lid on a crock pot when you're cooking. Just trust it. Um, I know it's going to be ready when it's still moist, but it's not jiggly. And I'll see some volcanoes of spitting chocolate. Mmm. So stay tuned. I'll be back. So here it is. It's still Christmas. I got the prime rib cooking in the oven. I got the chocolate lava cake cooking in the crock pot. And I need something else to do. And I did take my meds. But ADD doesn't, it doesn't acknowledge Christmas. So what I'm going to do is make a whipped cream to put on top of the dessert. But I'm going to do a different one. I'm going to make this one with whipping cream, sour cream, confectionery sugar, and vanilla. We got to broaden our horizons, step out of the box. So let me get everything ready and I'll be right back. Okay, here are my four ingredients. This is going to be so simple. I'm going to use three quarters of a cup of whipping cream. I'm going to use a quarter cup of sour cream. I'm going to use a quarter cup of confectionery sugar and a half a teaspoon of vanilla. And I put that all in here. And then I'm just going to get my little mixer and mix it up. Let's see what it looks like. Ooh, here's my finished product. And let me tell you something, people. That sour cream really makes it taste good. This is six servings. So I'm going to cover it and put it in the refrigerator until my lovely lava cake is done. And then I will be serving this with dessert. All right, I'm going to go chill. Maybe read the paper or something. See you later. Okay, my friends, it has been two hours. And this is what it looks like. And I am going to put the cover back on and it will be ready for dessert. So, two hours, there it is. It looks divine. Okay. So here we are. I am gonna take my first scoop. Look at that. Look at how. Zoom in there, honey, look. Okay, look at that melted chocolate. So I'm going to do this and a little 